All right, everybody, welcome back. Welcome back. KJCR, JimmyChurchRadio.com. Live from Burbank, California, I am your host, Jimmy Church, live in the studio with Hilton J. Palm, Charlie the Shekinator Sheckman from the Galpin Ford Studios, probably brought to you by National Tax Experts, 877-909-5444, nattaxexperts.com. You can follow us on Twitter at J Church Radio. Shoot me an email right now to jimmy at jimmychurchradio.com. All right, check this out. For syndicatednews.net, Everybody thinks I've been hard on Joe Paterno. Joe Paterno has done everything to himself. He just did a just did an interview with the Washington Post, of which I have quotes here, but just let me clarify out of the gate. What happened in State College happened in State College. It's not the Sandusky sta- scandal. It is the State College Penn State scandal. Let me make that perfectly clear right now. And with these quotes... I read the entire interview with Joe Paterno. And with these quotes, I'm just telling you, Joe Paterno is clearly out of touch. He doesn't get it. He, With all of the people around him feeding his ear, you would think by now he would know what to say. Now, these quotes go as follows. This first one is about Mike McCrary. And when Mike came to him, listen to this. Joe Paterno says here, that he had never heard of rape with a man. That's right, which is a a complete lie. This quote, quote, you know, he didn't want to get specific. And to be frank with you, I don't know that it would have done any good because I have never heard of, of rape and a man. So I just did what I thought was best. I talked to people that I thought would be, you know, if there was a problem, that would be following up on it, end quote. That is just crazy, Joe. How do you expect people to believe what you're saying? And then he goes on to say, when he was talking about getting fired, listen to this. He says, quote, I don't know if it was fair. I don't know. But they do it. And, you know, you would think I ran the show here, end quote. And there's nothing else to extrapolate from that except for he considered himself running the show there. And how could he possibly be fired by somebody that couldn't fire him? Only he could fire himself. That's nuts. State College, Penn State, you should be happy. Right now, the alumni have been standing up at these at the the past three press conferences, upset that Joe Pa was fired. And he turns around and does, does does an interview like this with the Washington Post, and I can just say there was nowhere else for him to go but get fired over this. For syndicatednews.net, I am your host, Jimmy Church, for jimmychurchradio.com. If you want to listen to the rest of the show, go to the website, www.jimmychurchradio.com. We'll be back right after this. Shy boy, shy boy, shy boy, shy boy. 